I have a question for you. Does it piss you off when people tell you in order to get what you want, you need to let it go. You just need to let the universe handle it. You just need to send off your requests, send off your order, and then you just need to sit back and relax and let it come to you. Are you one of those people that's like, no, I want it right now. I'm not letting go of my desire. Why would I let go of my desire? Are you saying that I need to get this or something better? Are you saying that I need to not want it in order to get it? Why would I need it if I didn't want it? If you're one of those people that doesn't want to let go of your manifestation because you feel like that burning desire for your manifestation is what's going to bring it to fruition, then this video is for you. And we're gonna talk about what letting go actually means. No, it does not mean you need to let go of your desire. It doesn't mean that you need to not want what you want anymore in order for you to get it. In a sense, this is true, but not in the way that you're thinking about it if the concept of even letting go brings you anxiety or it feels resistive to you or pisses you off. Okay, so I have a quote for you from Parallel Universes of Self. He's talking about the law of correspondence or the law of attraction, which if you know anything about me, if you've been here for a while, this is not a law of attraction channel. It's not even a law of assumption channel. This is just, hmm, what do you even call it? Not even a spirituality channel. I just struggle to put a name on it. I don't want to put a name on it. I guess you could call it reality creation, but you already know how I feel about creation. Creation is finished. So this is where we learn how to decide to have the things we want okay whatever you want to call that is what this is but he's talking about the law of correspondence which is as above so below what you give is what you get etc the law of attraction is pretty much falling under the same umbrella as law of correspondence interchangeable pretty much don't let that scare you off we know that there's nothing that you are attracting because everything that could ever be ever will be ever has been is already within you everything that you see outside of you is you it's the reflection of you came from you we'll go back into you we'll come back out again anyway we're not stuck in the law of attraction rules or following certain laws even the law of assumption okay if there's a rule that doesn't work for you and it falls under this ideology whatever it is let it go it doesn't matter it's irrelevant just leave it just because somebody said you have to do it doesn't mean you have to do it okay but he is talking about the law of correspondence here which is a working mechanism in this reality that we live in at least at this current point in time okay what we put out is what we receive on an energetic basis not on a if i slap somebody in the face somebody else is going to slap me in the face it doesn't work as literally as that but whatever the energy is whatever the vibration the frequency i know it sounds a lot of attraction -y, but this is scientific okay this is just what it is everything is energy the energy that you put out will be returned to you in kind in some way shape form or fashion okay law of correspondence are we all on the same page? Okay, let's get to the quote. All right, as obvious from the word correspondence, the process of RC, which is reality creation, is a two-way street, a dialogue. It does not only involve sending some wish list into the universe, but getting into correspondence with infinity. It does not only contain a desiring, intending, or attracting part, but also an allowing, receiving part that lets infinity create. It is the job of the world self to intend and the job of infinity to create, and then again, your job to allow or receive. Allowing means being receptive enough not to try to create a reality yourself, but allow the magnificent intelligence of infinity to find a way to correspond with your vibratory signal allowing what you intended to flow in this is directly connected to your feeling of self-value and of being happy to be yourself independent of circumstances this again goes hand in hand with letting others be who they are granting the same validity to be themselves and thus granting reality to be what it is when you know you can attract whatever you want you don't get upset about others and circumstances anymore you're not here to repair what is broken you are not here to convince others of your path you are here to express your own path it's not your job to force the world into conformity or sameness with you. Instead, you appreciate the diversity one can choose from. Okay, so you see why I gave you the little preface about the attraction and the law of correspondence because I want us to get to the meat and potatoes. Let's not lose the plot here, okay? When you have a desire, when you want something, right? Your job is to choose, right? Your job is to decide, this is what I want. Then your job is done. Then your job literally is done. As soon as the decision is made, your job is finished. It now goes over to infinite intelligence. The job of infinite intelligence is to bring you that desire. But infinite intelligence, God, source, whatever it is that you call all that is, can only bring you your desire if you are receptive, if you allow it. Because the universe cannot override your free will. Even if you are saying you want something, 
if you are not letting it come to you, it can't be forced upon you. So where does letting go come in? I think the reason that a lot of people have resistance to the concept of letting go is because it goes back to that outside power. You think that I have to ask for something and then I have to wait for somebody outside of me to give it to me. The fundamental misunderstanding is that this thing outside of you is not you. Everything outside of you is you. Because we are all one, because we are made with the same energy, because we are all connected through source, we are all the same. That is also true for the different levels of you, the different levels of consciousness that you embody. So here on a physical 3D realm, in this point of view, you're a person, you're a human being. We're not capable of understanding, processing all the things that infinite intelligence knows. If that were the case, we would not be living in a 3D reality because here we have linear time. From the point of view of infinite intelligence, everything is happening simultaneously. So from that vantage point, all paths can be seen, the outcome of every choice, every circumstance, every situation can be seen. And that's how the bridge of incidents gets built and then unfolds for you. That desire that you have is linked to a timeline, to a life path, to an alternative reality where in the end you get what you want, right? So in order for you to get onto that timeline, you have to allow infinite intelligence to pluck you out of where you are and put you on the right path. That is only possible if you let go of your notions about conditions, about how it's gonna get to you, about when it should get to you, about anything that is the orchestration of your desire, anything that makes things happen. So if you think that it's your job to stick your fingers in the pie and get a little taste prematurely or to try to push things along and make it come faster, you are already in the mindset of somebody who is not the version of themselves living in the reality where it's done. Because if it was already done for you, if you knew it was done, if you felt it to be done, there would be no need for you to try and move things along. There would be no need for you to worry about when it's gonna get here, how it's gonna get here, the methods, the timing, exactly what it's gonna look like when it gets here. Your job is to be fully confident in the feeling that you have, your conviction about that desire being yours and to feel good about it now. And not only to feel good about your desire, but to feel good about the other things happening in your life as well. To put your focus on other things rather than the lack of what you want. Because believing in lack is the sure way to get a reflection back to you from your reality that there is lack. Now that's not a truth. It's not true that lack exists. It's not true that you don't already have what you want. But if you believe yourself to be somebody who does not have what you want, your reality has no choice but to show you that is true because it cannot impose on your free will. So in order to let this infinite intelligence who knows all, who knows exactly what you want, the best way to get it to you, and the way that it's going to bring you the most fulfillment, in order to let that happen for you, you have to let go of trying to be this mastermind puppeteer of your reality and getting everything on the chessboard in the right place and making sure that this tree has this many leaves and that this river is flowing in this direction and da da da. Like, that's not your job. There are like three steps to this. You choose what you want, the thing comes to you, you receive it. This is the responsibility of higher you, the version of you on the level of consciousness that sees the easiest way to get it to you, the most fulfilling way to get it to you, the one that's most in alignment with the state that you are in. So in order for that to actually be a fulfilling experience for you, you have to get into the correct state. You have to have the correct viewpoint, the right outlook, on your circumstances, on the situation, on your capability to have what you want. You have to know who you are and fulfill your role. Your role is to choose. It is always granted. Every wish is granted. There's nothing that you could ask for that you could not have because if you could not have it, you would not even have the mental capability to ask for it. So that's off the table. You can have anything you want, but once you decide that you want it, you have to get into the state of already having it. You have to know that you're capable of having it, that it's possible for you to have it. Not only is it possible, it's plausible and sure to happen if you do your part. Your part is to choose and then to allow infinite intelligence to figure out how it's gonna get to you, the delivery route, right? And then when it gets to you, you have to still be in that state of the person who knows that it is theirs, that they are allowed to have it, that they are worthy of having it, that it is here for you. And then you have to allow it in. You have to receive it. You have to say, yes, this feels good. The only way that you can end up in that reality where you're able to receive what's trying to be given to you 
is if you're the version of yourself that is capable of receiving it because the version of you who's ready to receive it is not the same as the version of you sitting in the reality waiting around for it or trying to make it happen or trying to manipulate things or people or circumstances in order to get a different outcome when you feel like there is something that still needs to change like things aren't all in order like it's not handled for you like you're not being taken care of you are in the reality of not getting what you want so how can you expect to be in the reality of not having what you want and simultaneously get what you want. Even if you did get what you want, even if it was forced upon you, somebody tried to shove it in your face, say here, 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 here it is, you would not be mentally equipped to allow that experience in because you don't have on the right perspective. You're not looking at it righteously. You're not seeing it in truth. You're not seeing it the way that infinite intelligence sees it because that version of you knows that you are completely open and available to having it. It's not at all outside of the realm of possibility for you to have anything that you desire. In fact, it's literally infinite intelligence's job to give you everything that you desire. So right now you are currently in the reality of having whatever it is you think you want or you think you deserve or you think you need. And if you feel like there is some lack, that there's some lack of something or someone in your reality, it is only because you keep telling that story. You keep projecting that onto reality. You keep projecting that onto the mirror. You refuse to see it in any other way. So nobody can force you to see it in a different way. Only you can choose to see it that way. So letting go. The letting go is not about not wanting what you want anymore. Even though the version of you who's capable of getting what you want is in a state of no longer wanting it because you already have it. Not because it's not important to have, not because you're not allowed to have it until you feel like you don't need it anymore, but because you already have it and you are enjoying having it. You are already in a state of fulfillment. If you can carry that fulfillment with you everywhere and in everything, no matter what the circumstances are, then your desires will always be there to meet you. You will see them everywhere. You will see them constantly popping out of the woodwork because they have no other choice because you are doing your job effectively. You are playing your role. So as a 3D human version of you, as a person having a human experience, do your job and understand that this is all intentional. Nobody outside of you wants something different than you want for yourself because that higher consciousness, that infinite intelligence is you on a higher level of consciousness. And it is so willing to give it to you. It's literally its entire job is to give you the reflection of who you say you are. So the letting go is the letting go of this control. And the paradox about manifestation is the more that you release control, the more control you actually have. You can ask for specific things. You can ask for things that seem illogical or irrational, but as long as you don't feel like you need to force it into reality, as long as you're not seeing it as illogical or that you're a person that's not capable of doing it or having it or being it, your reality doesn't give a shit. It's not making distinctions between big things, small things, things that are easy or hard. It is just reflecting you. It is just matching you and that's all it can do because this is an energetic mechanism. So whatever the energetic state is that you're embodying, whoever you are internally in consciousness is what manifests everything else on the outside. Anything external to you can never be more or less than what you are giving off internally. We know this, right? We know this to be true. So letting go could not be scary. It should not be scary because all you're letting go of is this need to make something happen. Understanding that there is nothing to make happen because it has already happened and you're not the one that makes anything happen ever. You are the one that decides what happens and then the you on the higher level of consciousness makes it happen for you. God makes it happen for you. Source makes it happen for you. But remember that that God, that source, that infinite intelligence is inside of you, knows you personally, extremely personally. So don't try to fool yourself and say, okay, I'm letting go. I don't care anymore. I just don't care. But actually you still do care. That doesn't, you're not gonna trick yourself. You're not gonna trick infinite intelligence by saying you don't care, but actually you're doing it in order to get some outcome. That's the point that I'm making. If you're doing this, to an end, if you're letting go to an end in order to make something happen, you're still not letting go. Nothing that you do should be to an end unless you're in the end of your state of the wish fulfilled. 
the end of you already having your desire, but that's not you doing anything. All you did was make a decision. All you did was say how it is. So the letting go is letting go of your need to impose yourself on reality physically. You can do whatever you want in mind and imagination, mentally impose yourself on reality all day. I implore you to, please do, please do continue to project your preference onto this world. Continue to tell stories about things being the way that you want them to be. Continue to release these belief systems that keep you limited and stuck and in lack and beliefs that don't serve you. But it is never necessary for you to go out and do something that feels out of alignment or feels like I must do this in order to make this thing happen because on a physical level, you don't have to do anything to make anything happen. The higher version of you has got that handled, I promise you. So it is okay to let go of the orchestration. So imagine you ordered something and then you went on vacation. You said, okay, I'm letting it go. I don't care about this package. I'm going on vacation. Package said it was gonna be here in two days. You go on vacation for a week and now you're wherever you are. You've made it to your destination and you're pissed because your package isn't there, but you ordered the package to your house. So imagine your house is your state of the wish fulfilled. You've left the state of the wish fulfilled. You've gone off somewhere else. You're in a state, in a place that's no longer in alignment with what you ordered, what you requested, your desire. And now you're in that other state pissed why the package that you ordered to your state of the wish fulfilled is not there with you in bumfuck nowhere. This is the receiving part. You don't have to go anywhere. You ordered your package to your house. You need to be at your house and be ready when it gets there. Otherwise, how do you expect the package to be received? Who else do you expect to pick up the package for you? At some point, you're gonna have to stick your hands out and you're gonna have to take the package. My point is letting go does not mean letting go of the desire. If you ordered the package to your house, you don't have to leave your house thinking that the package won't arrive unless I'm not looking at it, unless I'm not checking for it. I can't check the Amazon delivery because if I check it, then they're gonna say my package is delayed. And then I'm just gonna be here sitting around doing God knows what. It's very simple. Order the package, be at the delivery destination when the package gets there, have the handoff, say thank you and enjoy. I feel like that's not too hard to grasp. So once you decide that something is yours, once you've made your order, you are not now the person who is waiting for the order. You are the person who already has what you want. So there is no need to go outside and try to make something happen because it has already happened. It's counterproductive to be doing something over again that's already done or trying to do a job that you're not qualified for. You're not qualified, I'm sorry, you're not. In your current state of awareness as a human being, you are not qualified to know the best way that what you want is going to get to you. It's not your job to think about it because I promise you whatever you can conjure up in your mind, the situations and scenarios of like what you could do to possibly make something happen faster or make it happen in a better way is never gonna be as good as sitting back, relaxing and letting the one who sees all handle it for you. Why do y'all wanna do more work? Why do you wanna do more work? Why are you so worried about checking up to see if somebody is doing their job when you are not even qualified for the job? And even if you are looking at them doing the job, you would have no idea what they're doing because you are unqualified, you are untrained to see all the infinite pathways that could lead to you having what you want. So stop trying to figure it out. That's what you need to let go of, the figuring it out, the logical reasoning, the trying to make things make sense, trying to rationalize things, stop. What do you want? Okay, great, it's on the way. Be there, your package is on the way. Stay there, don't move. Package here, thank you. Three easy steps, three easy steps, okay? So letting go shouldn't piss you off. It should be a relief, oh my God. I just get to choose and then it's done for me? It's already done the moment that I choose? I mean, that sounds like a pretty good deal. In no way, shape or form does letting go give you the short end of the stick. That is like the ultimate freedom. That's like the ultimate level of authority. Do you understand that you get to boss the universe around? You get to boss God around? You get to boss infinite intelligence around? And you don't have to be bossy about it. It is just a level of conviction, a level of authority, a level of self-assuredness. So when I say that I have something, something is done, this is my desire, there is no need for me to go out and do X, Y, Z to move things along. Why would I help you when this is your job? What do I need to help you with when it's already done? I know that you already know the way. I know that it's already on the way. I know that the only thing that could keep it from getting to me is if I move from this location, this state, if I start to see this in a way that is not favorable to me, if I start to see things that are not my preference and start believing in those things to be truth, 
that is the only way that what I want is not going to get to me. So I'm going to sit here on my pretty throne and I'm going to allow what I've asked for to come to me. That is not a waiting. You automatically go from desire to state of receptivity. I desire it, I accept it, it's mine. Thank you so much. Like, thank you. Get into the gratitude of it. Let it go from being a thing that is burdening you in your mind. It does not matter how contrary things get in the 3D, how much opposition there is, how many circumstances there are. It is okay to let go. Once you've made a full decision and you fully believe and you trust and you know there's no power outside of you, the only power up there is just bigger you. So I can say, hey, that would be nice. That actually would be nice. Actually, that's mine. Thank you. Let me know when it's here. And you can just go on about your business. You don't have to keep watching it, monitoring it, and making sure that things are going according to plan. Again, you are unqualified to know what the bridge of incidents is supposed to look like. You're not a carpenter. You don't build bridges. Let infinite intelligence do its job. Relax. Go play. Go do whatever you want. Understand that nothing you do at that point can fuck it up unless you go back to the state of being a version of yourself that doesn't have what you want. Unless you go back into doubting it and not believing it to be true, not believing it to be done, settled, handled, signed, sealed, delivered. That's the only way that it's not gonna get to you. And not letting it go can be a huge part of you standing in your own way because you think that letting it go is releasing some level of control. In reality, letting it go is the ultimate level of control the ultimate authority of being so assured, so confident. What else is there for me to do? I've done my job. My job is to ask politely if you want to ask or demand, sure, whatever, command. Your vibe is your vibe. Uh, that's none of my business. However, whatever your relationship is with infinite intelligence is your relationship with infinite intelligence. You need to put your order in however you decide to do that. And then you need to receive it. You need to know that it's on the way, no matter what it looks like, no matter if the tracking information is not showing up yet, no matter if it says there was a delay, you be there and expect that package to be there when it said it was gonna be there. Don't believe in the, the changing 3D, the changing circumstances that are there to throw you off. Every obstacle circumstance that is there to throw you off, there to test you, or oh, opposite circumstance, oh, it's just a purge, whatever it is, all of those are just opportunities for you to stand more firmly in what it is you know that you have. So let it go. Stop caring about it to the extent that it is worrisome or bothersome to you. That's what it's about. Who cares? Who cares when it's gonna get here? Why are you worried about when it's gonna get here when it's already here? Why are you worried about how it's gonna happen when it has already happened? That's why you can let it go because it's done. Does that make sense? I really hope this is hitting home for you because I know some of you who have been here for a while are like, okay, like what, something else please. But I still get comments constantly about people waiting for results, trying to figure out why things are not working holding so firmly onto the belief that there is lack in their reality. Something is supposed to be happening that is not happening. Hmm, I wonder why you're not getting results when you are in a state of somebody who believes they don't get results. Hmm, I don't know how much more blatantly I can say it, but I will continue to say it over and over again as long as you would like me to. It doesn't bother me. It really doesn't. I love to talk about this. I do. I think about it constantly, all day, all the time. So that's what I mean about letting go. Even things that I'm manifesting, think about it feel the good feelings of knowing that you already have it, saturate yourself in that feeling of the wish fulfilled, know that it is done. Every time it pops up into your memory, it shouldn't be like, oh, that thing's still not here. It should be like, oh my God, I'm so lucky. Like, oh my God, my reality literally loves me so much that I got what I wanted and then that. Or I got what I wanted and it was even better than I imagined it could be. It always gets to be better and better for you if you believe that it gets to be better and better for you. If you say, I just want exactly what I want and that's that, then whatever, have exactly what you want and that's that. But I promise you, this infinite intelligence knows all, knows you down to your molecular structure, okay? If there is something that you truly want, something you truly desire, imagine how it feels to have that thing and feel like that now, feel like it's done now. And I promise you, whatever it is that you want and more will come to you, but you cannot move. You cannot be here, there, and everywhere and wonder why your package is not making it to you because it can't track you down because you're in this state and that state and this state and that state and you're going back and forth, wavering on the hamster wheel. Like you can't even compartmentalize what is going on with yourself because you are so discombobulated trying to figure out how to make things happen. That is not your job. It's not your job. So stop, okay? 
Seriously, let it go. Let go of the need to control and you will have ultimate control. That's the paradox, okay? So before I go, obviously I want to harp on this. When he says this is directly connected to your feeling of self-value and of being happy to be yourself, independent of circumstances. This could be a whole nother video within itself. I try not to say that because I say I'm gonna make videos and then I forget, okay? Remind me, feel free to remind me if I've said I was gonna film a video and I haven't yet. But if your whole being, if your whole livelihood, your happiness, your fulfillment is based on this external thing, on you getting this thing that you want, you are never going to be truly fulfilled. I'm just gonna say it how it is. That doesn't mean that you cannot get things that you want. Of course you can. You can manifest from any state. That's why I always say, yes, your state is so important. So, so, so important. The most important thing is for you to know who you are, for you to be fully in the awareness of knowing that you are this ever-present consciousness. You are God. You are the universe. You are this infinite intelligence. There is no separation. God is in you. You are God. So everything that comes out of you is in God's image. You are made in God's image. Your reality is made in God's image. Those circumstances are made in God's image. Yes, even those ones, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. So thinking that this specific thing is going to give me this feeling and that's all you're betting on in order to feel fulfilled in life, to feel like you are now allowed to be the version of yourself that you wanna be is not gonna work because you've done it in reverse. You're relying on the thing to make you feel a certain way instead of feeling a certain way and then getting the thing. Your fulfillment, your happiness, your enjoyment of this experience is based on you never on circumstances. So if you feel like you cannot let this desire go because your whole life is riding on this, your whole life depends on it, this is especially true if it is a specific person, okay? I'm telling you, once you let that shit go, the need, the desperation for something to happen, you will understand that that is the state that is required in order to make things happen. All of those things would happen effortlessly if your overarching self-concept was of a person who knows that they are completely connected, that there is no separation, that this reality is only a reflection of you. It is just you and you and you and you and more you all the time, forever. It's a you party, okay? Knowing that, there is no reason that you should ever be unfulfilled. There is no reason that you should ever be dissatisfied with circumstances or anything that's happening to you, for you, in your reality. Because you know that if that circumstance came from me, I can just as easily take it back and replace it with something else. And the way for that to happen more seamlessly is to let go of the need to hold on to these individual things and to hold on to who you are. Fully back yourself. Fully seat yourself in that consciousness that once you let go of these ideas that there is lack, that there are things outside of you, that there is somebody or something holding something away from you, you receive everything because you see that all of this is you, so it's all yours. And if there's something that's appearing to you that's not your preference, you just choose to believe that that thing is on its way out, this thing is on its way in. It's just that way now, that's just how it is. Things become so much less of a big deal when you get this letting go concept. It means let go of being a fucking control freak. That's what it means, okay? Stop being a control freak and just get back in control. That is your control, your ability to choose, your free will. So your free will works for you to choose things and then for you to receive things. You have to do both. You can't just choose it and keep choosing and keep choosing and keep choosing and never receive. Can't keep choosing, say, I want this thing, I want this thing, I want this thing, I want this thing, and then refuse to give it to yourself. Because if you know that this is all you, you know that there's absolutely no reason why you should not be able to have what you want, right? So there's no need for you to feel like, please make it happen, please, in this way, and no, oh no, don't do that, because if this happens, then this thing can't happen, and then there's none of that. Once you let go, there is none of that, because what is there to hold on to? You are everything. You are all that is what do you need to hold on to that you do not already have what are you looking for that is not already within you if you think you're going to find it in this circumstance in this desire being fulfilled and you having your manifestation i can assure you that while that enjoyment might be there it will be short-lived because you will move on to the next thing you want and the next thing you want and the next thing you want there is nothing wrong with wanting things and having desires and manifesting things no matter how specific or vague the issue comes in when you think that these things define you because 
they're so attached to your identity that without them you feel like you're worthless like you are in some way broken or incapable or lesser than because you don't have this thing that's not how it works because that thing is you is that hitting home does that make sense? There is never anything that you could ever want that is outside of you that you could not have. So whether or not you have that thing, great. It's amazing to have the thing, love having the thing. I know I said I was gonna make this a separate video, but now it's just in this one, so here it is. I can expand more on it if you'd like me to, but it's amazing to have the thing. The things are great. Nobody's knocking, having results, getting what you want, right? But if your fulfillment is in the tangible thing, you have to understand that the tangible thing can never be without the fulfillment coming from you, without you already being in that state yourself, without you already knowing just who you are, okay? You have to know who you are because once you truly know, once you've bought into the pearl of great price, once you've sold all your possessions, all your beliefs in an outside cause, there really is nothing for you to want. That's why people say, oh, when you stop wanting it, you will have it. Not because it's wrong to want it, not because it's wrong to focus on your manifestation or saturate yourself or do your techniques or whatever it is you do, but because you're still believing in the lack of it. You're still believing that it's not already there, that it, it, you don't have it, that there is some barrier to entry. There's not. You're already there. It's already here. It's already everywhere. It never could not be. So once you understand that, yes, things are still fulfilling. Things are still amazing. It's still nice to have things, but your fulfillment doesn't come from that. Those things come as a byproduct of your fulfillment. Get me? Okay. So let go. Who cares? Who cares about how the manifestation gets here, when it's here, if it's already here? So stop being a control freak, stop being so neurotic, stop wondering if you're doing things right or if you fucked it up or if it's actually coming. None of those things would ever be a question if you were the version of yourself knowing that it's already done. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for me today. I intend this message serves you well and I'd love to hear your thoughts about it in the comments. If you're interested in working with me or checking out any of my other platforms, all that information will be in the description box below. And other than that, I love you all so much. Thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. Bye.